So you're welcome to the class of creativity and design here at Covenant University. I'm Oluwole Aboyade, and today I'll be presenting creativity and design. And the topic today, for those of you who are in space and everybody in class, you're welcome. Um, we're going to be talking about bringing idea to products. Bringing idea to products and making it visible, like what I'm wearing. You can see what I'm wearing, everything I created by myself. You can see the design from these. Um, so the idea is that your thoughts in your head is not valuable as it relates to money and usability if it's not visible. When you have an idea in your head and you don't bring it to life for people to use it, to wear it, to eat it, to drink it, to learn it, it becomes unrest. Your, the idea will just Different ideas will be mounting on the former ideas, and you'll see that it becomes psychosis even in the medical line. Because the and it's not a crime, it's just that you don't have the ability to bring the idea to reality. So your your brain can accommodate so much. So what you need to do is once you have an idea, even if you don't have the resources to bring it to reality, do some sort of dumping on a, a paper by writing it. Or maybe having a conversation with somebody you know understands you. It's not everybody that likes creative people. Let me just let you know that. Yes. Creative people don't have a lot of enemies. Because sometimes creative people forget to even take care of themselves. How many of you know that? Because their passion is, and is too much into what they are doing. Yes. Ask some doctors, they will tell you that. But... Like I said today, our topic is bringing idea to reality, from start to product or services. And you can see that I'm wearing something I've created out of beads, and there's no two person in the world that can say this work or this piece of uh, product is their work. Any event I go to, they will be looking at me like this is this man's work. If I say I'm a teacher of creativity and design, I don't have to talk too much. You are seeing the creativity. And design. Even the slippers is going with that. The hat is going with it. Now, that's as it relates to product. To service the same thing, when you want to do maybe an application, build an application online, you have to remember that the images that will be on that application, the words that will be on that application, should be original to you. It doesn't have to be 100 percent your words, but at least 75 percent of the content should be your original thoughts. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you'll see how that works in the digital space today. Somebody in this class have achieved even what I consider to be a digital immortality. Somebody in this class have achieved that. And that person doesn't even know that they achieved digital immortality. Digital immortality is ability to have an online presence that can have values even after, after a billion years. Maybe a video, Maybe an article that somebody can say, oh, let's go and read this article. Let's go and watch this video. Remember the pyramids in Egypt, the rivers in Jerusalem, all those places, people are still visiting them. Jesus is dead and gone, but people are still going to those sites, paying money to look at them from Nigeria. They are still paying money to go to Egypt from Europe. Why are they paying money to go and look at those values? Those creations, those creativities. So, whatever you create, you must be able to stand the test of time. Sorry, I have to close this. Whatever you create, must be able to stand the test of time. That is how, it's not everything. We have to type of product or services. We have product of desire or services of desire, and we have product of values and services of values. When you focus on product of values and services of value, you are creating things or or uh, products that can stand the test of time. Product of values are things that maybe you just need for the immediate moment to survive. Those are products of desire for immediate survival. But what can stand the test of time, you will see in this class. Somebody has achieved that in this class, and that person doesn't even know they've achieved that. You will see the person. And the person doesn't even know how I came about that. That's the truth of the matter. There was, you, you will hear the testimony. Now, also, as we look forward into that, you can see this is a drone away daily. 
and they made it into a force. There's something called um, waste to wealth. So you have, can use design mind to look at your environment and see opportunity where others don't see opportunity. Look at these slippers. It's made by um, a 400 level student. She sells them and she's building them from my class. She came to my class and said, what if we start adding bid to start making your slippers not to be every other person's slippers? And this building thing, the day we did our EDS day, she sold over for 5,000 euros. That I can see this kind of thing. Because she pitched the tent right there with our tent. And people were coming to buy 5,000, 4,000 for one year. So if you don't make your ideas, your imagination visible, they will not become products others can use. That's the message. And you must use design mind and design thinking to create values and products. So we're going to move to the next one, and in this next one, before I go further, is the hundred levels we're able to create this envelope about values. And the reason why we're talking about them is because of what they have achieved. Now, among the students in the class of hundred level students, one of them did this artistic expression. This is what she drew. She didn't even have the envelope because the envelope was finished. There are 2,000 students in that class. And this is what she did. But when I saw the work, I was like, I love what you have done. Now, this is a piece of paper. To somebody, it has no value. Do you understand that? To anybody, this has no value. But to me, it has value. So what I did was now to take that and take it further through the creative process and turn it into a t-shirt. I can see the t-shirt. Beautiful. Facility of the creator. Yes. You can see the t-shirt. Tomorrow now, tomorrow in the class of 2000, she's the winner of that event. And she doesn't know this is happening. I'm going to present it to her. She'll be looking at her work online and she'll be able to wear it and people will be able to say, and what do you think, if she wears this on this campus, what do you think will be happening to what you are reading? Everybody will be asking the question, what is the assayty of what? The creator. Hey. <laughs> Can you see that? What is the assayty of what? The creator. The minute they see her, they will be asking a spiritual what? Question. Question. And that is what we call creative spirituality. Wow. Wearing your faith. And that is what you saw me wearing. I put Papa's picture there. Oh. Yeah, there's Papa's picture on this. See, this is Papa's picture. Ah, uh, ah, uh, all true. Yes. 